Hello, humans. I am Demon Lord Parkus, and I can't control this crazy ball! <laughs> okay, anyway. Welcome to Pyramid Cave. I am, I am not good at remembering this. Well, times. Anyway. Last episode in Sonic Adventure 2, we got into the pyramid. Or found the entrance. I'm not entirely sure where Sonic is. Maybe this is the boy. I don't know. Oh boy. Okay, so. In this level, uh, you're just trying to get through to where Eggman is. Oh yeah, you're infiltrated. Anyway. And you just gotta make it through as quick as possible. The gimmick is those hourglasses. They tip over, they will flip over when you jump on them. So what you gotta do is you gotta make it through the door that they open before they close. No, I killed I killed Gamma! No! Gamma! Okay, anyway, now we have the bounce bracelet. This boing 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 is my favorite item. Uh you bounce repeatedly to go higher after an initial jump. And you can kill enemies with it. New places, yada yada yada. It's a, uh, it's a power. Damn it. Okay, yeah. If you don't make it through the door before the time is up, you don't get through the door. Spin dashing and some resulting is your friend. Now another gimmick. I, I believe it only appears twice though, so it's not really a gimmick. These keys, you place them on there, and you got and the door opens. It doesn't have time. Nothing up there. Oh damn it! I missed it. Back to the... Now, this level is by far my favorite of the pyramid levels just because of the grinding siblings. For some reason, out of everything that this game has to offer, Chow Garden and just grinding on rails is my favorite. Alright. Oh, shoot. Ah! No, 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 no. Yeah, and for some reason this pyramid is ghosts. Uh, I don't quite understand it, but it annoys the heck out of me. Alright. So there is a part coming up where I almost always fail the first time. It's one of those hourglass segments of ghosts. Which can ah! Did I? Oh my god, I killed him with the key. Go key! Key number one. Alright, anyway. Yep, here it is. No! Off of me. Okay. Now, this hourglass has a very long time limit, but there are ghosts that are going to try to catch you, like that one. And they hold you and they keep you stunned, and then the door will close and you'll have to try again. And it's a big time waster and it'll definitely knock you down a whole letter grade. Welcome to school. Yeah, there we go. Okay. What the. the yeah, that hole at the end there was just in case you needed to get back. Awesome, made it. So there were rails on the other side in case you didn't make it through all the doors. That way you can grind across. Once again, time wasted. It's basically the hourglasses are shortcuts. And the shortcuts help you with time bonuses, which are the biggest thing. Well, actually, I think all the levels. Like Sonic's levels, you have to get through fast and matter as much. Knuckles levels, the faster you can think you get, and Tails levels. Actually, Tails levels are more based on getting up. Now, because I missed the rail, I oh my god, get off of me. Oh. Darn it. Very much darn it. Okay. Anyway. So, and Tails levels are based around getting combos and stuff like that. Not kind of secondary. I'm not the best at tail levels, I choose, I choose to just mash the O button and see what sticks. Anyway, um, so my time bonus is going to be the best. I have as much ring bonuses as I did before I died to the ghost. Okay, that's cool. Alright, this time I'm not going to miss the ring. Yeah! Okay, that's what it's Yep, that's, uh... Alright. Sorry, there are some segments of this level that just slow right to a crawl. Kind of a disappointment. But, then again, that also reflects on my playstyle. Four minutes! Ugh! 
I did not enjoy the fact that that took me four minutes. <laughs> yeah, Barely I deserve it. that. I deserve that E. Alright, and I believe we have another cutscene. Yep. Looks like we're heading toward the center of the base. That egghead sure loves mechanical things, doesn't he? I'll bet he has one or two spaceships lying around here somewhere. The door is locked. We need a key to get in there. Ah, uh, yes. No problem. We can find it. Right, Knuckles? What? Why do I have to find a key? We're counting on you, buddy. The world's greatest treasure hunter. Well, then again, he's tagging along. He might as well help. Death Chamber. Ah, yes. What a very nice and not in any way foreboding title. Actually, this is my favorite. It changes like all the time. Um. Hey, I did not pattern shorts. stuck in here until I find the... Should be right in here! The hammer gloves! Increased power of the attack, I can now break iron containers. And use them to break open Which is the great, because it's annoying I can't. Uh... Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Get through. And smashy smash! I am sorry, game. They are shorts, whatever you say. <laughs> Don't hurt me. The game is alive. Hey, wait, you dig in here? You appear somewhere else. That's basically how it works. I'm not entirely sure why it works that way, but that's how it does. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need a hit. Huge bug. Great hit. Oh, boy. Alright, well, in here, come out here, still no change. Haha! <laughs> I also like that you can get rid of the ghosts, you know. Oh, okay, so this was just my chow box, great. Green. Uh, well, I gotta get to the green area of the level. sure how I wasn't hurt by that enemy, but okay, I'm taking it. Alright. Giant ghost Igu thing. Uh, hey! That's weird. I have never seen that. Okay, here it is. I thought that was the place I could dig. I was wrong. Anyway. There we go. Alright. Where's that? Oh, that guy. There. Oh, there's huge bugs. No. Come on. That's it. Come on, I'm right here. Just 
Okay, I'm getting further away. So it's on the left it's side closer. of the room. All right. Closer. Ow. Where? Oh, fine, I'll take the third hit. Jeez. Buried above the huge wall decoration by the green. Buried above the huge wall decoration by the green. Wait, what? By the green. So, does that mean that it's. Oh, you're kidding me! Alright, that was not my best work. That's definitely not. We need four pillars. Ghost, 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 die, ghost, die, 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 die. Not what I wanted to do, but thank you. Alright. Room with two players. Ah! You can enter the area next to Great! A secret room. Okay. Gotta find the blue room. The red room. And okay, it's over here. Almost made it back to the blue area. Stop it. I mean, I've n I don't know if I can be crushed by the I feel like I should be. Just because of, well, how close I get. But then again, that would make this game pretty difficult. Oh, wait! Secret room. You can get in next to the blue room. Along with this. Right? Hey, I was right! Alright, well, I also want to pick up this chow key. There we go. And. Alright, two levels down, one visit to Chow Garden to go. Not too bad. Agreed. Not too bad. Normally I don't get very good marks on uh knuckle levels. Especially not aquatic mod. I still can't believe I got an A on that. Alright, now this version of Sonic. Adventure 2 is on the PlayStation 3 um, instead of the GameCube. I'm not able to record on the GameCube or Wii anymore, so I'm here. And I actually do have quite a few chows. For example, here's a Sonic Chow. I'm actually very proud of this. It takes a uh, This is my swimming chow named Sage. This guy doesn't have a name, but I forget what I'm trading it. Power, I guess. Or at least with tigers. Uh, let's see. Sage has 99 swimming. If I remember correctly. Alright. Yep, 99. Okay. Let's see how it goes. I don't know. Yeah, swims on the swims on the back. Anyway, um, so the thing with Chow Garden now, I am going to leave this up to the viewers. Anyway, who actually cares? You can decide what I train a Chow in. What I Hello, humans. It's Demon Lord Park as post commentary. Ignore the blathering idiot on screen because I am going to give you the laydown of what's going on with Chow. Now. This adorable little guy is a Chow. They inhabit Chow Island. Now you raise Chow in Sonic Adventure 2, build them up strong, compete them in races, karate, all that kind of stuff. Now you do this through the use of Chaos Drives, which, which come in four colors, green, purple, yellow, and red. I'll explain what the colors mean in a moment. 
as well as chow animals. Now, there are 21 different animals in total, three for each stat. Now, there are seven different backgrounds which dictate what the chow does. A yellow background with the penguin, otter, or seal raises the swimming of a chow. A blue background is a miscellaneous background which raises a different combination of stats. And to be honest, I don't really find it all too impressive. They go with the raccoon, the sheep, or sorry, the ram, and the scout. The purple background raises a chow's ability to fly, or whether or not it can fly at all. That is with the condor, the parrot, and the peacock. A black background gives a chow a different appearance, kind of. It's better to explain. The bat, for example, will make a chow's feet disappear. A skeleton dog will remove all visual changes to a chow, and a half fish, which is the little sea monster kind of looking guy, he will make the chow's ball on the top of its head into a fireball. The green background, such as the warthog, cheetah, or rabbit, will raise the chow's speed and running ability, or whether or not it can walk or run at all. The gold background is a mythic animal. They are only gotten through special means of finding them in a secret area of the level, or getting all three chow boxes in the stage. That is the phoenix, the dragon, and the unicorn. But like the miscellaneous animals, they give a variety of stats, but there is a base stat that they increase. For example, the phoenix, since it's a bird, raises one. The power animals, the red background, such as the bear, gorilla, and tiger, raises the chow's strength, whether or not it can, you know, punch a guy out. Stuff like that. Now, what I ask you to do is to tell me what type of animals I should do the chow. And what it should be named, as well as what alignment to give the child, whether or not I treat it best with good characters or dark characters. It does, in fact, make a difference. Anyway, that's all from me. Back to the video. Huh? Who's there? What the... a ghost? It's King Boo! I mean, Boom Boo! So, here's my problem with King Boom. He is incredibly easy if you run at the edge of the platform. You can't fall off, you're close enough that he starts doing his fire breath, and you go back and punch this ghost. By far the easiest boss my opinion in the game, and that is including the first boss, you run over him to stop him in place, you dig in, and you punch him right in the back. Now, you can't catch him after this, he just moves too quickly, so you just chase him like the moon. Yeah, you can't get him. Anyway, so, and you gotta do that, I believe, four times, I'm not sure. But, there's nothing new. After each fight, you just run at the wall here. Thanks to how the game works, you just keep moving. You stay out of the reach of his fireballs. You watch him start breathing fire so he won't turn around and come after you. Because if you outrun him and he notices, he's going to turn around and chase you that way, and that'll just make the fight go further on. Anyway, so now he's on the wall. you got to climb on the wall. You're faster than him in the wall then by climbing on it. And drill down and get him. Okay, so yeah, you have to do it four times. And... Yeah, you can't cut them off too much. You can't shortcut this at all. You can't get more than one hit. Which is fine, I guess. It's just, he doesn't do much. I mean, he has this. And if you're not used to it, it can be scary as all hell. But he rarely gets you. Okay, here he might get me. If I get hit on this boss after saying that it's the easiest one in the game, I am going to be pissed. I mean, Knuckles just looks terrified there. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And punch the ghost button. I don't know why he even has an hourglass here. Why not just, you know, store it in a safe place? 
then he can just chase Knuckles to his heart's content. And until Knuckles has heart too. So, anyway. And fly over. Drill. Go to cut him off. And not cut him off. Because we need one more hit to make this worthwhile. And you'd think he'd have, he'd have an attack for this. No, he doesn't. Yep. Nothing new. On the upside, it's fun to just punch and do this. Oh, damn it! No! No, 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 no! You're the easiest boss and I got hit because I was screwing around? I will not get hit again in this entire boss fight. I, I can promise you that. But, oh my god, I can't believe I got hit because I was just screwing around. Alright, King Boom Boo, you are no longer the easiest boss. Now I need to think of a new easiest boss. That kind of sucks. Okay. Come on, Boo Boo. Time for your last and my favorite hit on you. What the heck? Alright. Adios. Die, 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 die. Spin around and burst into ghostly flames. Huh. What a hat. Alright, so we beat two levels, visited Chow Garden, I informed you all of your quest. Give me options on Chow's, and... <sighs> that was pretty rough. We did it! Let's go, Amy! Yeah! You little thieves. Did you really think eh? you were Come and get some, Eggman! Sonic! I'm bloody my speed! Just leave it to me! Okay, I just like to point out I love Eggman's theme so much in this game. It's just so awesome. Yeah, we got another boss right away. Unfortunately, I couldn't go to Chow Garden. Anyway, Egg Gold. The Gold. Alright, let's do this. 